Good morning, everyone. This is Haralamus Pissuros, Senior Analyst at IronFX, bringing you the morning comment for the 7th of uh, August. The greenback rebounded on Friday following the release of uh, the U.S. employment report for July and subsequently some comments on tax reform from the director of uh, the U.S. National Economic Council, Gary Cohn. Kicking off with uh, the jobs data, non-farm payrolls rose by, one, by 209K, more than the consensus of 183K. The employment rate ticked down while average hourly earnings accelerated in monthly terms, both in line with expectations. The second and biggest leg higher in the dollar came after Cohn said that the U.S. administration aims to reduce uh, the corporate tax rate to around 23%. He added that the new plan will include in, in incentives for U.S. corporations to repatriate cash uh, held abroad. If such a plan materializes, uh, repatriation would likely provide a significant boost uh, to the dollar. In the longer term, as uh, corporations would uh, need to convert billions held in foreign currencies back to dollars. Nonetheless, uh, for now, despite uh, Cohn's remarks and strong uh, jobs data, we are not ready to call for a reversal in the dollar yet. Even though the market uh, reacted to Cohn's uh, comments, uh, any tax uh, reform plan is still months away from uh, being announced and implemented uh, at the least. On the data front, both investors and the Fed are aware that the labor market is robust and thus further improvement in that sector is unlikely to lift uh, materially the probability for another hike by year end. Indeed, the implied uh, probability for another hike in 2017 stayed more or less unchanged, unchanged at uh, around 50% in the aftermath of uh, this data. In our view, a strong rebound in inflation is needed before rate hike bets rise materially and uh, help the dollar change its uh, fortune. In this respect, CPI data due out on Friday will probably attract attention, though the consensus is for another set of uh, lackluster prints. Euro dollar tumbled on Friday in the aftermath of uh, the U.S. Uh, jobs data and cons uh, comments. The rate fell back below 118.30 but hit 117.25 and started uh, to recover. The rate continues to trade above the short-term uptrend line taken from the low of the 22nd of June and thus we consider the near-term uh, picture to still be positive. We would treat uh, Friday's slide as a corrective phase and we expect the bulls to continue erasing uh, these uh, losses. We believe that they may challenge the 118. 30 line as a resistance uh, soon, so a clear break above that level could set the stage for another test near the 119 territory. Now moving to the energy market, uh, today oil uh, uh, traders will probably turn their sights to Abu Dhabi where OPEC and non-OPEC officials will meet to discuss why some countries are falling behind in their pledges to cut production as agreed in May. Any signals that uh, the cartel may take a harder line on uh, members not complying with uh, their quotas or that OPEC uh, could take other steps to boost uh, compliance may help oil prices to trade higher. WTI traded uh, north on Friday despite the dollar's uh, strength on the U.S. employment report and, and uh, cons remarks. The price rebounded after it hit once again support near the 4860 uh, line, but the recovery stopped at 49.75. WTI continues to trade above uh, the upper bound of uh, the medium-term downside uh, channel that contained the price action from the beginning of uh, February until the 27th of July, which uh, keeps the door open for further recovery. A break above uh, the 50-35 obstacle would confirm a forthcoming higher high on uh, the 4-hour chart and could open the way for the critical hurdle of 51.50. That said, we repeat for the upteenth time that we are mindful on whether a healthy long-term uptrend can be established. Any further gains may be capped by, by the 51-50-55 range, where U.S. Uh, producers may be tempted to increase, to increase production significantly. Now, as for the rest of uh, today's highlights, uh, the only noteworthy indicator we get is Germany's industrial production for June. We also have two speakers on the agenda, St. Uh, Louis Fed President James Bullard and Minneapolis Fed President Neil Kashkari. As for the rest of the week, on Tuesday, China's uh, trade balance for July is out, while on Wednesday we get the nation's CPI and PPI data for the same month. On Thursday, during the early Asian morning, the RBNZ will announce its uh, policy decision. 
We believe that uh, policymakers could deliver a, a more cautious narrative on the economy and perhaps even issue a warning about the recent strength of uh, the Kiwi. Finally, on Friday, we will get the highly anticipated U.S. CPI data for July. For more information, please read the full comment on ironfx.com or download our app and get all the information you need to trade. Also, you can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Harold Lambos Pissuros, Senior Analyst at IronFX, wishing you solid trading.